The National Association of Realtors reached a $418 million lawsuit settlement recently, giving you more power to negotiate costs in buying and selling homes. Tonight, there are questions about whether that will matter very much here, considering how few homes are on the market. Morgan Scott is in the studio to answer some questions tonight. Morgan. Michael, the realtors I spoke with say the changes from this lawsuit will certainly have more of an impact on the way they are expected to run their business. But for the central New Yorkers looking to buy a home, there's still just not enough supply. Buying and selling homes is about to change. If you want to put your home on the market or buy a house on the market, you'll have to enter into a contract with your realtor and negotiate commission rates before you can even see a home. It's designed to prevent hidden or surprise fees. Right now, there's some agents that will go and show a house without getting into a contract with a buyer. It can be for that one house, it can be for that one day that they're in Syracuse looking around, or it can be for a six month period of time. But you have to choose one agent to represent you. Buyers and sellers can also decide which of the two will pay that fee. In the past, many homeowners and potential buyers were not aware that a commission could be negotiated, making it easy for some realtors to set a price at whatever they saw fit. It's now gonna be on every listing. We've gotta determine who's gonna pay the commission. So commissions are probably going to change a little bit. These changes will only matter so much as long as the housing inventory remains low. Common counselors like Pat Hogan say it's a concern he hears about all the time. How difficult, not only is it for folks that maybe modest means, low income folks, but people who are, you know, cops, firemen, nurses, teachers who make a sort of decent, decent living, but they can't find anything affordable for them to live in. And, you know, and the market rate apartments too. It's like a, a really difficult thing to build housing to accommodate all the folks that need housing. Despite the ongoing efforts of the city, there's still a lot more catching up to do. We've created the housing trust fund. Uh, we work with the land bank. Uh, we just put together legislation that allowed us to start seizing uh, uh, delinquent and decrepit houses and getting them into the hands of people through the land bank that can make use of these, this housing. Now, Hodgkin says his office has seen a 50% increase in the housing crisis over the last four years. New housing being built will go a long way for everyone involved in the process of purchasing or selling a home. Reporting in studio, I'm Morgan Scott.